Hello friend, what I'm about to tell you is something only 5% of you know about. In fact, there are only 3 videos in this game, and I've merely stumbled upon it, not covering its full value. The game that you'll want to play after this video is Lost in the Street 2. Why should I even care about this game? What makes it so different from other tens or hundreds of Half-Life mods? Is a story telling with a good end and guys and gameplay? Does it need to possess entertainment value? Maybe all of these things together? Here's how we figure that out. Ultra Kill, Hotline, even John Wick. All of these things have one thing in common that makes you excited about them. Action. Run, thank, shoot, live. That's where Lost Industry 2 drop kicks the door open. Let's just get something out of the way. A 2 in a 9 suggests that it's the second part, but we're not going to see the first Lost Industry because it is basically a sort of a, a demo for this game. A 2 don't really have a story connection either. Source isn't known for stunning visuals, however, it's known to be one of the first, if not the first, in the industry to implement complicated graphical effects. And at the games you've probably heard of, if I was going to ask you about which source game was objectively the best looking, you would probably say Black Mesa. That could have been a lot worse. Wait, what? Lost Industry manages to not just reach that visual level, but perhaps even beat Black Mesa by an extent also. Another thing to keep in mind is that Lost Industry was made with no budget. We're in the menu, created by this glowy combine, the game soundtrack playing in the background, which I must say I found quite lovely. Please tell me you're seeing this too. The visuals. By the gods do the visuals get really good in the latter half of the mod. Although, one of minor complaints that one might have is serious oversaturation of the bloom. You actually have a choice about which effects you like to keep, which you would not. The overall graphic aesthetic reminds me of the 2012 era. Do you know what I mean? The bloominess, the contrast, there's something in it. So, here's the plot in a nutshell. Gun Freeman fights, bad combine, good rebel, help Freeman. Freeman goes into a lift, then step Freeman gets stuck in a lift, and that's where the game begins. Also, the weapons have their own animations, with a new gun mechanic which allows you to focus fire. A while. I did find it quite neat, it would occasionally bug out for me. Once you step out the lift, you start hearing voices, which isn't really unusual for me. <laughs> and after molesting some boxes, you'll finally reach the radio room, which allows you to respond somehow. I mean, think about it. God never speaks, yet he somehow responds here. Bloody terrible game. I'm going to watch Mr. Robot now. <laughs> And after responding to the voice, you find out that they're in fact trying to help you to get out of the combine factory. The voice instructs us to press the guide button so that we can pass through. It's actually time so you need to be quick. No babysitting being done in this game. Kind of embarrassed to admit, but I've played through the mod multiple times and on my last playthrough did I notice the door locked with planks. Even broke it a couple of times but it did not go through it. So, now after the guide shuts, some combine come through to investigate. My first playthrough, I did the sensible thing and I obliged the voice and hit in the room. And after that's done, try to get on the ground floor using a shaft. Here's when the first canonical combine encounter happens, but it shouldn't really be that hard for anyone, unless you're me. Just managed to fall twice in this section, and that's only six minutes into the game. Down to the floor, in a room where you need to go, just happens to be blocked off by an energy field. And after pulling some levers, some surprise headcrabs, you stumble into the first serious shootout. It threw me off at first because, like anyone playing through this for the first time, you don't expect the combine to just.
flying in hard is difficult today. It's brutal. Since calm down, actually have armor. So the spread on your weapons is really consistent. You can't just sit behind a wall either. One of those idiots will definitely send a grenade to your wife. Develop a passionate hatred for shotguns. It's always the shotgunners. They're the last ones to live. Also the elites. After fighting through some of the combine branches, we reach security room where I can turn off the force field that's locked here in here. Great news, right? Wrong. Because you need to hold out in that room like it's the Payday 2 police assault easily. The hardest section the entire game. You know, finally, the only boss is easier. We just beat a boss in a piece of metal. And I managed to get myself into quite a few tight spots, which I just about managed to get out from thanks to Scythe's coming. And after beating other combine, you get a well needed break, because damn, this made me sweaty. But then you reach a keypad as manual codes. New task at hand find the codes. It's not really that difficult. Just go to the bog, which is flooded. Man, there's probably a lot of silver fish here. You know, after you find the codes, which just happened to be written, you enter them and open a doorway for zombies. Then you get into this room with a lift in it and invisible walls. How lazy are developers to just block you off like that? But then I realised that this wasn't just any room, another rolled out. Well, shit. And after making it out, unscythe, the lift takes you way up. Say hello to the sniper section, a nice throwback to Half-Life 2. The one thing I did find a bit, well, you know, eh, there's one part further ahead where a ground team of rebels infiltrates the compound. It needs to keep all four of them alive, or it fails. One of the rebels just liked dying off, and after I've already killed all of those pesky combine. And after that's done, get down to the ground level, and meet up with the team, a heli boss appears to try and ruin your plan. Oh no, what will you do? An option A, kill it, an option B, shit yourself, an option C. Ramen? Ramen! Ah! Are you sleeping, you fat no! f no ah, Come on! We played through the game multiple times, but went through option A, only in my last playthrough. Overall, a really solid mod. It'd be a lot better if G-Man and Gordon had a twerk off battle though. Have you noticed it? You didn't. You did not. When you clicked in this video, a contract was automatically signed in your name. It obligates you to like this video, leave a comment, failure to do so will condemn you to three hours. And you don't want to know what that feels like. Now to grow your brain with knowledge about games you've never played, click on this video where I tell you about the worst sourced game how it came to be. Please tell me you're seeing this too.